Hey, what's going on guys? We flooding here with a brand new video today. Today we are talking about the location of the spirit sword. It does look kind of tiny, almost like a dagger, but it does hit pretty hard. This character unfortunately is unable to wield the uh, it properly, but it does have an ability called Rancor Slash. If you saw my uh, Rancor Shot Bow video, uh, it's called the Bone Bow. It is um, similar to that where it has a FP cost that uh, is 12 and uh, it does a magic attack because this does scale with intelligence. I do not have 16 intelligence on this character, however the attack and uh, animation of it is really cool, so I do suggest going ahead and picking this up and trying it out for yourself. It has some pretty quick swings. There's the two-handed and let's go ahead and give this a whirl. That's a light attack. Heavy attack. All right, let's go ahead and uh, pick this sword up, shall we? So we are at the Cerulean Coast West side of Grace, which is right there. You're gonna go ahead and uh, take a peek at this building as your first landmark. We'll go ahead and take a left at it. Keep in mind I have eliminated the enemies just for the uh, stake and tutorial of this video. Uh, at the location of the Spirit Sword there are some pretty decently tough enemies there. So be cautious uh, picking up the sword. Now we're going to go ahead and once you see this waterfall, there's this big stone tablet here. You're going to take a right down this side. Right of this waterfall you're going to take this pathway here. And at the very end of the pathway is where all those enemies are going to be uh, spawning in. But your sword is going to be sitting right here on the uh, tombstone. Uh, it might be this tombstone. But I'm going to insert a clip like I always do. Spirit sword. And now that we're back. The spirit sword, like I mentioned at the very start of the be uh, beginning of the video, it is quite... Uh, Tiny as a weapon, so you might have a little bit of range issues with it. However, it does scale into strength, intelligence, and dexterity, so there's decent room for improvement for it. It is going to uh, take somber stones, so it's going to go up to plus 10. I don't know what the scaling is going to look like for the letter wise for each one, but I do imagine a higher intelligence and dexterity score for sure. Uh, I'm actually curious about putting this on a build one day. Maybe you guys will beat me to it and let me know how it is. I will see you guys in the next video. My name is B Flattened. I'm signing on out of here. Take care all. Laters.